Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at Natchi, coming at you with a little Beacon Rush action here. We are on the Valley map, and we're running non-metabots today. I am running Caveat, I am running my best gear, the best pilots that are available for these particular bots, and of course, uh, drones, which are you know pretty up to date. So, but I just wanted to put away the metabots. I wanted to put away the Pathfinder, the Ocho, the Curry, uh, I want to put away the uh, Shen Lao, and I just want to go out here and have a little fun with some of these older bots and talk about them as far as their viability in Champion League. So let's go ahead and start off with the Raven. The Raven is an old bot, guys. This is a Griffin 2.0. Two jumps, and that's about it. In the air, it's a flying target. It has no stealth, no protection, no special damage points. Uh, but you got the Nessa Riggs pilot that came out for it. Gives you basically Deathmark style damage bump when you jump and stealth that is a huge that is a huge huge upgrade to this particular bot and has made it uh, you know a while ago that made it by itself viable in at least lower champion league well things have kind of changed around things have really amped up in champion league so uh what we've done here is put on some 600 meter 600 meter weapons in the marinas and the chions and a kestrel drone now the kestrel drone uh this is as you can see there's not many hit points to this bot but every time i land and come out of stealth from the jump. I'm healing thanks to the Kestrel Drone. There's a nice kill right there. Every time I'm jumping, I am getting healing thanks to Wonder Worker. And so this thing is non-stop healing. And that's a that's a huge advantage for this. That's what's helping keep it in the battlefield. Now, this thing still has one big glaring vulnerability and that is anything with quantum radar effect. Anything that can zoom in on a uh, stealth bot is gonna wipe this thing out. It's gonna hover 2.0 it out of existence. It's gonna be gone. It'll, if it flies, it will die if someone has that. But uh, still, this is a good, fun bot if you have all of the uh, necessary you know, components for it to put it together. And that's in Champion League. You can run this with just the Nessa pilot and like say an Armadillo drum uh, back in say like Diamond or Expert League. It'll still work pretty good. It's a tactical bot. It's actually fun to run, but for every good run you have, you're gonna have three or four where you're gonna get bombed out. So you gotta be really mindful of it. But it definitely is fun if you play tactically. Now this one here, this one here I liked when it first came out, the Mars. I had so much fun with it. And now it is so nerfed into the ground from direct nerfs and indirect nerfs thanks to everyone having some form of shield penetration. So <laughs> two years, I, I'm, I'm running this very aggressive for you guys, but I got ultimate T punishers on here uh, just because that's what I had available for big weapons to put on it. Uh, but it definitely is not a great bot. You want, I actually would like to put like you know, three chiomes on those and sit back at 600 meters and let the shield take some of the some of the damage back out of it. Now, this one here is a bot I really like. This one here, I, I would run this bot in mid-champion and it's still quite effective. And this is a Ultimate Glory, Ultimate Halo equipped angler. I've got the specialty pilot for it. Uh, this is the one that, uh, you know, when I get a kill, it resets my my uh, my electric glide. I've got a Pascal drone on here to give me some damage resistance. Because this doesn't have a lot of natural damage resistance like, say, a Fenrir. Um, I rely on the Pascal drone. I rely on Stubborn Warrior, Adamant Guardian. I rely on skills and drone to give it, it its defense points. And, of course, the weaponry, it dumps a lot of damage really quick. But once you run out of ammo capacity, your clip's empty, it's, you know, continual fire rate is really slow. And that's where I use the phase shift and I use the electric glide to give myself just a couple seconds to reload. So I can, you know, look like done this guy right here and we'll end up killing him. But I'm gonna get a little bit of a reload waiting for the uh, you know, next target to be acquired. That's what you kind of have to do with this, hit and run assault style tactics because it's not a this is not a brawler. This is a tactical assault bot. A totally different kind of concept. And you can see I kind of brawl there with the Titan. And with my ultimate fender, that works great, but not with necessarily an angler. So I'm gonna move out of here. This one here is my second angler. Very similar buildup. Uh, this just has a specialty pilot, it gives me a longer electric glide versus, you know, getting reset after each kill. That's basically the only difference. But I've got a different set of weapons on here. This is a mid, to longer range setup. This is the uh, Ultimate Avenger, 500 meters, of effective about 400. And I've got Sheriff Magnetars for lockdown. Now, the, we can just nice chewing right here. The Ultimate Avenger bypasses defense systems, so it works really good on Titans. So this is kind of like my second, this is my second uh, 
tanker that I usually deploy. Deploy the other angler first and then this one. Because by the time this comes out, there's usually a Titan or two on the battlefield I can shoot on. So I do definitely like this. Now, Angler is definitely, you know, they've had their day. They were a nightmare in their meta day. And now that they are not, they're slower, more like a tank than a nightmare, uh, they actually, it's, they're actually kind of fun to run. Uh, they do require a little bit of skill, and you got to know your positioning. Like, this is the exact wrong thing to do right here. <laughs> Go run out in the middle of the open. You don't want to do that. Uh, but, you know, coming around corners, waiting for targets, that's kind of what you do with this thing. Um, I'm just trying to be super hyper aggressive with it, and I just paid the penalty for that. But let's uh, go ahead and drop the Newton. Let's go ahead and put the Titan out. Now, this is the nerf to Newton. I put on here the uh, Discordia and the, I forget the name of the other, the beta version of these uh, vending machine guns. And this is a fun little Titan to run now. Uh, you've got some good weaponry. I can kind of just sit back, lift things up, and tear them apart, pick them apart with these, you know, these meta weapons. Now you can kind of run this with uh, lanterns and dazzlers as well and lift things up and just kind of blind them and be just a total pain to them. Uh, this, this is not a brawler. This is definitely not a luchador. This is definitely not running the bed rear and uh, it does not have the same kind of assault power as the Eiffel. But boy, if you have a team... Oh, look at the chunks of him just went flying. That's cool. Um, if you have a team in front of you which is pretty aggressive and actually holding up, you can sit back and be an awesome support player. Pick things up for people and just, just shred it. it. It's actually not a bad build. Um, this was my intended replacement when they nerfed the daylights out of this thing and nerfed the daylights out of the uh, full guards and the tonins that were originally on this. But uh, this isn't bad. I'm gonna run this. I'll run this for the week because uh, this does have a good pilot on it. I am running uh, two onslaught reactors, two of the repair amplifiers. So this gets a nice bump as far as damage goes. And it's also getting some healing and short-term damage resistance. I believe it's like 30 seconds now. Once you breach a certain threshold, it'll give you 30 seconds of pretty healthy damage resistance. But after that, it's over. And then you're kind of just, you're just a big target. And of course, you can't move, you can't jump, you can't go into phase shift. So if someone like this comes up close, your only hope is to just kill the darn thing. And hope you can. Now, this guy here is running, uh, no, it's just thrumming the air. He's smart. He's going into phase shift because he knows I can't hold him up very long because that's part of the nerf. But, oh, jeez, man, he just knows it, too. He's going to he's gonna pick me apart here. He's, he's, he's doing the right thing. This is how you deal with the, the Newton is you use a little concealment and cover and just, yeah, just come in and work on it. There we go. Dog, let's go and dog hunt him down. You last to him there, buddy. I'll wait for him to come out of his uh, stealth there. And we can, I can chew him up. There we go. But solo, 1v1, he was going to have my meal ticket. He was going to chew me up. Now, I didn't get it. Yeah, I don't think, unless I drop out of this, I'm not going to get a chance to run the uh, Ravana for you guys. That'll probably be in tomorrow's video. But uh, definitely older bots with newer gear and newer, uh, you know, drones. And, you know, you put it all together right are actually pretty fun. And I'm in mid-champion league right now. So that's, that's a lot of fun. 11 kills, 3 beacon caps, 4 assists, and you know, over 4 million in damages. That isn't too shabby for a bunch of older bots. Alrighty guys, time to bail out here. If you guys liked it, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when I'm dropping it. Alrighty guys, stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. I'll catch you on the battlefield.